Hi sweeties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I do fashion hauls and body positivity videos here on my channel. If you like that kind of content, then don't forget to hit that subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be notified of all my future videos. And let's get into this video. Today we are getting into Fashion Nova. So yes, I know, what is she doing wearing sweaters? in the summertime it is hot it is you know all this stuff but i couldn't help myself but to shop the 80 percent um and 60 percent clearance on fashion nova i haven't done a fashion nova video or a haul from them um in a minute i actually did purchase like a gym short and a sports bra like maybe two years ago so this was a very big haul for me um, to be getting into Fashion Nova haul and just trying to see what is all the hype or what is not the hype about Fashion Nova. And if you didn't know, I am a plus size shorty. So if you are the same type of body type as me, then just look at the description down below and see if we are the same size. And, um, how it fits my body may be the same similar to how it fits your body and if it fits my body a different way then it might fit you in a better way so um, depending on you know what your preference is or how you look at your body you are always beautiful I just and gotta say I rearranged the, um, me and my husband rearranged our room here and I absolutely love it um, this uh, is the place where I usually film and we actually switched the bed around and now there's an actual walkway right here right in front of where i film and all my organization stuff so if you want to see um what's been going on definitely check mrs ashley's life um here on youtube i will have my vlog channel down in the description box down below okay so first outfit is this knit right here it is supposed to be um, I, I try to find a heathered gray knit legging for this top or this hoodie um, piece to match with this black piece, but they didn't have similar um, colors. I only got one matching set that is a similar color, and I will tell you guys about when I put that on, but I got mismatched because of black leggings and a heathered gray hoodie for this time because there was no other um, matching set um, in my size. So I had to, I was forced to get the heathered gray with the black. And this is definitely one of those things where you're going to be lounging around in. Um, for me, it would be lounging around at home and um, on a cold winter's night because the sleeves are um, pretty, pretty thick. And the leggings are not, I mean, they're thick as well. They're, they're knitted and they have a little bow tie right here. Or you could tie them right here but however they're not like a um it, it doesn't cinch your waist in it's just like for looksies and um this actually does have a hoodie so let's let's pose for that It's right about here where, as you guys know, I have a big belly. Um, I'm still fluctuating to see if I, to really um, determine if I am a rectangle or a apple body. Um, you be the judge. You let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, I have been debating what type of body type I am, but I, I know for sure that I am a plus size shorty. I am size 18 on the bottoms and size smaller on the top which i usually uh, fluctuate from 1x 2x but this set right here i got as a 2x okay so these are called the wonderlust hoodie and knit leggings in the color taupe so this is basically what it would look like if they 
if I had the black with the black or the heathered gray with the heathered gray, this is the full effect of having them the same color. And this was the only um, color that I could get in my size. So this is the taupe color. Yeah, so obviously the crop top is, it hits a little lower than um, a regular crop top, which is really nice. Um, but I mean, the color is okay. I'm kind of glad that this is like a pajama-y type a vibe. Um, yeah, because like the color, it's okay, but it does show, I mean, it is does look like I'm like all one color. Um, and that's kind of not really not what I'm going for, but I could always put like a different colored, uh, tank top underneath to hide the belly area. Um, cause this is really form fitting in my opinion. Um, it does, it is sag or bag right here. And then the bottoms, I forgot to talk about the bottoms in the last one, but they do scrunch up a little bit at the bottom. So if you are taller than me, um, I'm four foot 11. Um, so if you're taller than me, obviously they will fit you perfectly. However, just for me and our shorter gals, um, they do scrunch up at the bottom. But nonetheless, it is still a nice matching set. Um, if you don't mind, your belly out there, you're very confident in your body, um, then, you know, this set is definitely up your alley to go wherever you want to go. However, this is just one of those sets that I will be keeping as a casual set at home and whatnot. So this is the Wonderless hoodie and knit legging. Let's get okay. So I do want to go ahead and talk about the shorts real quick because I'm going to going to be um, using these shorts for the rest of the try on haul. These are the only shorts that I've picked out for um, from Fashion Nova. I wanted to try biker shorts. So these are my hand at biker shorts. And as you can see, they do go below my knee, which is okay because I am a shorter gal. And they hit, let me show you, they hit up here. It does have like a band that is this thick, which is really nice. It is super comfortable. It wasn't hard to get on. It's definitely not like a shapewear where it's supposed to shape you in any type of way, but it does give the illusion like it is shaping your body. I got the, the these are the rouged booty biker shorts. So this piece is supposed to be rouged. Honestly, supposed to be rouged. And unfortunately, since I have a belly, it's not showing up. The ruching on this definitely just kind of flattens out the area. But I mean, it's still a nice short in my opinion. So those were those Barker shorts look like. And yeah, but let's talk about the racer back mustard yellow top. I am in love with this because I'm already, um, after trying on those sweaters, uh, knit sweaters, I'm really feeling cool to cool down and I actually love where it hits. So I could wear this piece with anything in my opinion. I could wear it with a skirt. I could wear it with shorts. I could wear it with um, jeans and they would look good in any t particular situation. So it is definitely one of your basic, um, more basic tops, but the yellow is what I was going after because I do want to try my hand at a lot more pops of color. Um, if you didn't notice, I have purple hair, so I'm trying all different routes and avenues of what um, colors go with my hair and whatnot. I'm not gonna have purple hair forever, um, I'm just trying to lighten my mood in a, you know, in a very healthy way now that we're 
back quarantining and staying at home, um, I kind of needed a pick me up. So I did my hair purple. But with that said, I do love this mustard yellow top. It will, it's very sunshiny and bright. Definitely reminds me of the sun. And it's also very casual. You could pair this with denim on denim, denim jacket, whatnot. Um, it's just a really good go-to basic piece. Okay, so this next top is definitely another basic piece, but I definitely am searching for more basic items because most majority of my basic items come from Walmart and sometimes the fabric there can be a little bit cheap. So I kind of wanted to try my hand at somewhere else to where to get my basics from. Um, and this one seemed like a good option. They have these in many different colors. It's the square neckline and it is, um, <laughs> I'll put the name of this top somewhere around here, like I did with all the other ones. Okay. Okay. So, um, so what I, what says about this pink top is, I can match this with my hair. It looks cute with purple and pink. Purple and pink obviously go together really, really well. Um, and I ac actually really like this outfit as well. It's very casual, very laid back. Um, really my style when I'm at home. And I love the, how it's a square neckline. It's very different. I'm so used to like the V-neck or the round scoop necks and this square neck is definitely one of my faves so i might pick up this um, basic top in many other different colors uh, oh my god i am so excited that this was a longer crop top so this is their pink crop top in you make me smile it is this pretty handwritten you make me smile um shirt crop top and it's in a baby pink color which is absolutely gorgeous i could wear this with a cute skirt or shorts that i'm comfortable in it even looks good with these biker shorts to be honest because it hits me here it's a lot longer than a normal crop top um which i absolutely love the the sizing of this crop top actually and again it is that square neckline which is just such a good little touch it's so different and makes you have like a baby doll effect um but yeah i absolutely love the color i've noticed a little pattern from the knit um the knit matching sets that the yellow one and this one has that ribbed lining. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love that type of fabric. This is definitely thinner than the yellow racer back and the um, knitted sweaters, the Wonderless ones. It's definitely a thinner fabric, but it's nice and airy. I, I absolutely love this one. Okay, last but not least is this jacket. I don't know why I'm getting jackets right now. Um, maybe because they are 80% off plus my 40% off. It was, I got this for like $25 when it's normally like around the $80 mark. Um, so let's talk about it. It is baby pink, which I absolutely love. I used to have a Walmart um, pink jacket that I used to wear or I wore all the time. So I wanted to at least stock up on, um, fall to winter clothing when that time comes. Um, so this is your, like, just for the record jacket. It is a corduroy jacket. Um, it does have the puff in the, in the inside lining it is kind of like that faux silk and then you have faux fur on the inside of the jacket as you can see it's like 
faux fur and corduroy. Um, so this is not an inside out jacket. It's definitely have the fur for just the looksies on the outside, but it's super, super soft, which I love. And I mean, I would have loved it even more if it came with a hoodie, but um, I feel like when it's when it gets cold and stuff that I could put on the knit, um, what was it? The Wonderlust knit hoodie underneath this and have the hoodie come out on the back of this and it would be a definite look. Um, but yeah, so this is one of my favorite jackets. It's my favorite color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I never thought that I would be picking up a jacket in the summertime, but I guess that's because right now is a good time to pick up your fall to winter items now that they're on sale. And I just couldn't pass it up because it's super cute. Oh, and they have functioning pockets on the side right here. So yeah. <coughs> Okay, so that is that for my Fashion Nova haul. I did pick up some accessories. I don't know if you want me to talk about their accessories. Let me know in the comments down below if you are interested in their accessories. I do have a little bit of tea to spill with you guys with their accessories that, because I did try them on and some accessories have been a flop and, um, I just want you guys to know um, if you if you want to see that video or if you want me to talk about their accessories, please let me know in the comments down below. So I'll talk about Fashion Nova jewelry and um, accessories um, to the best of my knowledge. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this try on haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Like always, stay super sweet. Bye comment down below which outfit was your favorite and which one you would decide picking up.